A central Ohio community is just reeling from an unbelievable tragedy. A 16-year-old, Noah Lear, was injured on the basketball court last month. The Busiris Jr. was conscious at that time, able to call his mom. But just two and a half weeks later, he's gone. NBC4's Renee LaSalle has been following this story. She joins us live from Busiris High School. And this is just unbelievably tragic, Renee. Dwayne, I can't even describe the impact on the community. Now, we first told you about Noah and his injuries online Monday, and since then, the story is literally spread around the world. A 16 year old severely injured in a freak accident just while playing basketball. Well, students and staff here at Bucyrus High School, they have been pulling for Noah's recovery, but early this morning, he passed away. Went in with a broken jaw, called. Now he's not here. Melissa Griffin is still in disbelief. And he called and said, Mom, I had an accident. I hurt my teeth. I'm so sorry. I said, don't worry about your teeth. Where are you at? On February 27th, she got the call she'll never forget. Her son Noah had been playing basketball with friends at a local church. He went to dunk, and the adjustable backboard came crashing down into his face. In the hospital, Melissa says he went into cardiac arrest and suffered a severe brain injury due to a lack of oxygen. We were so positive. We thought, you know, we're going to have Noah back. I don't know if it's the same Noah, but he'll be here with us. Noah was rushed to Nationwide Children's Hospital. For weeks, he was surrounded by love and care. Last weekend, he was moved to hospice. But then he just never came back. It's such a horrible, horrible nightmare. Bucyrus High School and the community has rallied around Noah and his family, sending support and well wishes to the 16-year-old known for his love of basketball and helping others. Early Wednesday morning, when Noah passed, his mom chose to let him help one more time and donate his organs. She says it's what he wanted. He'll be able to save up to like 100 different people, so he'll live on forever. Now, funeral services are here at Bucyrus High School on Sunday and then on Monday, the, or excuse me, visitation is on Sunday. The funeral is actually on Monday. Classes have been canceled so that students will be able to attend. For times and also for how you can help, just head to our website, NBC4i.com, then stick around for the 6 o'clock. We're going to take a look at the impact on the high school of Noah's injuries and his passing. Reporting live in Bucyrus, Renee LaSalle, NBC4. All right.